Hello everyone, and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. Today, we are on episode number 115. Today we're going to be going over the Smart Crop module. The Smart Crop module is basically just an image cache or image style action that allows you to do some pretty cool cropping. It basically looks at the image a little bit and crops it based on entropy, which as you can see here, it says it produces a more pleasing result. There are some examples here, if you click on this link, of what the Smart Crop module does compared to original images and some of the other image cache actions like scale and crop. So you can see some of these images are just look a little different when using Smart Crop versus the image cache's scale and crop, such as this vehicle right here is one of the good ones, I think, where it knows that the this image, or the vehicle in the image is more important, so it crops based on that image and centers that instead of cutting off the image as the image cache scale and crop does. So just another image cache or image style action that does a pretty good job of cropping images. So we're going to go ahead and get started. But before we do, as always, I'm Shane Thomas. Go ahead and follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. And check me out on CodeKarate.com. Sign up for the newsletter on the left. And I want to thank today's sponsor, which is Drupalize.me. It's one of the best places to learn about Drupal. You can browse a whole bunch of videos. They have free videos as well. So go ahead and give those a look. And if you like what you see, sign up and use the coupon code CK20FEB. Let's go ahead and get started. I have a test site here, and I have turned on the Scale and Crop module, downloaded it, and it is enabled. Or s Smart Crop, I guess. I don't know why I said Scale and Crop. But as you can see, it's 7.x-1.0-beta2. So I have that installed. You can see I have two articles here with images. Right now, let's go ahead and see what image style it is using. I believe it's using the medium image style. If I come into article and go to manage display and go to the teaser, you'll see that the image is being displayed with an image style of medium. We're going to go ahead and create our own image style and use this smart crop action. So I come into configuration, media, image styles. You can see the three image styles I currently have. I'm going to add a new one called Smart Crop. So I'll click Create New Style. And now I have to select which effect I want to do. As you can see here, it shows the original and it shows the Smart Cropped image. I'm going to go ahead and click Smart Crop and click Add. You can see there's also a Scale and then Smart Crop as well. So you can try that and we'll show both options here. I'm going to set it to 250 by 250. And I'll click Add Effect. And we're going to go ahead and close out of this, come into our content type, article, display, teaser, and change this image style to our new Smart Crop. Now if I save this and come back, you can see it crops the image based on the exact size that I wanted which is 250 by 250. You can see it definitely cuts off a lot of the image but that's because it's a relatively big image and I'm not doing any type of scaling first. So what we're going to do is we're going to create another image style. Just come in here to image styles under configuration media image style and we're going to add a new one. I'm call this scale and smart crop and I'll go ahead and click Scale and Smart Crop here and I'll click Add. And I'll do the same thing. I'll set it to 250 by 250. I will not allow upscaling. I'll go ahead and add this effect. Now I'll come back into my content type, Manage Display for the teaser, and change my image style to use my Scale and Smart Crop image style that I just created. Now if I come back out here, you can see it scales it a little bit differently and crops it a little differently based on what is showing in the image. So that's how you use the scale and or you use the smart crop module to scale and go ahead and more intelligently crop your pictures. 
Sometimes you can see you get really good results, sometimes it's not exact, but it is some often, as you can see in these examples, it is often better than just using the base image cache scale and crop with a center cropping uh, that comes with the image styles in Drupal 7. So go ahead and give it a try and see what you think of it. You might have to try it on a couple different images and see your results and see if it ends up being something that you like and you want to use to scale and crop images automatically on your Drupal 7 website. Let me know how it goes and if you like the module. Also check out Drupalize.me again. Thank them for so helping support Code Karate and thank you for watching the Daily Dose of Drupal. We will see you next time. See ya.